last few games, made LeBron the point guard, and that day was Kyrie really to get going. Then down the stretch of this game, they took the ball out of LeBron's hands. LeBron was struggling to get him going. They put it back in Kyrie's hands. He was able to pick a couple of huge plays, including the three-pointer, and the pass to LeBron that sets up the foul and essentially clinches the game. Brilliant play to set LeBron up for that play. He recovers from the end, the elbow injury or whatever. It's just so funny, he hurt his elbow. The famous elbow, they took it away. Right. You know, exactly. Again, again, I'm sitting there watching him on the ground saying, I can't believe it's the elbow coming back. But he needed to make one straight door. Rattled in, that was all the Cavs needed. And it was Kyrie Irving really making the play with the ball in his hands. Once it's a shot, once it's a pass, showing his growth as a player. They don't get it done without Kyrie's greatness. He averaged 27 points in so many other years. He would have won the MVP of the finals. And I almost feel like they should break the kick off and give it to him. The Rock was so great in games five and six, and he's, he had a triple double that the year or two. I think the other thing was I was a little worried and concerned at halftime when the Cavaliers only had 42. I was a little worried. I was a little concerned at halftime when they only had 42 points. Raymond Green was hitting three pointer after three pointer, but the 42 points uh, at halftime that concerned me was I thought the Cavs needed to get to 100 like they have in every playoff game, every playoff victory this season. They ended 93. Which to me is another remarkable thing. I can't believe they did this for him here. I can't believe that either. They really didn't want to leave the Cavs fans in as long as they did. They finally kicked them out. <laughs> um, you know, the Cavs, other than the three point shooting, the Cavs are outplaying them in every facet. Andy, the Cavs have been outplaying them in every facet for two weeks. They won four in the last five games. They had one bad half in game four at home. And other than that, the Cavs, they, you know, when they got down 2 0, you say, well, this, well, let's be real here. How can you possibly beat this team that lost nine times? Four times in five games. Twice on their own floor. Right, it doesn't seem possible. I mean, and, and that was so amazing. You know, it, it was going to take something like this to break Cleveland ground. It was going to take something special. You know, the Red Sox to break their ground. They had to come back from three down and down to the ninth inning. It took something historic. It took a historic run here. And I'm telling you, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't know what the Warriors are saying right now because they're.